I'm Mike, and in this video, I'll show you how to lower the volume points on music so you can hear dialogue over the top. Get involved in one of my upcoming audio production courses. They open every couple of months for enrollment, and I always accept a maximum of 20 students each time so I can provide personal one-on-one -on -one coaching to each and every student. If you'd like to learn more about the world of audio, head to mrc.fm slash learn. Okay, if you want dialogue to be heard over the top of music, here are a few tips. First of all, I'm going to put some music on the second track and my talking on the first track to give you an example of how these kind of collide. My guest on this show is Mike Murphy. He's an online tutorial maker. So I can't really hear what I'm saying because the music is competing. So a couple of ways you can get around this. The first one is doing a manual thing. So maybe just moving this track using the top bar here to move it to the place you want in time maybe a little bit later, maybe around here, so a bit of music establishes. My guest on this show is Mike. Okay, so I'm starting talking there. Now I can zoom right in using this top bar with my mouse uh, scroll wheel to zoom right in. I can tighten this up as I wish. And then this yellow line, this one here, if you hover over it, you'll get the word volume appearing. Uh, or you should, there you go, volume by your cursor. This is your volume bar on the music. Now what you can do is you can paint on keyframes, those are the points where you start and end the fade, so I'm going to put one here, it appears as a blue dot, and then another one here, which is a blue dot, and I'll take the second one I've placed and just pull it down with my mouse like that, maybe down by around minus five, around minus five dB, so you get that kind of little fade down on the music, which will sound like this. My guest on this show is Mike Murph. Music's still a little bit loud, so I'm going to pull that down a little bit more, maybe by minus nine dB. My guest on this show is Mike Murphy. Now that is a nice fade. In fact, we could probably go maybe a decibel lower. And of course, decibel is displayed as you're pulling that down. So we're now down by nearly minus 11 dB. Let's have a listen. Nice loud music. My guest on this show is Mike Murphy. He's an on fade and you can hear what is being said. And of course, at the end, you would just do the reverse. So say the talking ends here. Let's just delete the rest of that speech. And we want to bring the music back in here. Again, keyframe here and a keyframe here. Fade back up to zero. It will actually snap when you get to the zero point, which is quite handy. And again, this is the end now. Full of different... And of course, I ended mid-sentence there, but you get the idea of... YouTube is, is full of different... Rather harsh fade. Of course, you can change that by just broadening this out. You can move this out a bit, make the fade a little smoother. Full of different... Bits like that. So all kinds of things you can do. And of course, you can go through, put on as many points as you want here. Do fades up and down like that, however you want uh, to move the music while you've got dialogue on top. Uh, I'm just going to undo all of this, return back to the start. Here we go. Uh, and I'm going to show you another way, uh, which is really cool and probably even easier than putting on the keyframes and fading down yourself. And that's using Essential Sound. It's a window you access here, window if it's not already open, and you just click Essential Sound. And what you'll need to do is tell Essential Sound that you're using dialogue on this clip. So you select dialogue there and then you click on the music clip and you say that it's music. Uh, and you can start off by just enabling this ducking feature when you've selected your music clip. And you'll see the music clip now has a musical icon by it and the dialogue has a speech bubble, a dialogue icon by it. So again, tick on ducking like that and it will start immediately calculating the curves for auto ducking. This is a feature where Adobe Audition uses machine learning to automatically duck the music for you, which is really, really super. Once that is calculated, you will see uh, a dotted sort of pinky purple line, and you can see Adobe Audition has done the ducking for you. Let's listen. My guest on this show, as you can hear, the ducking is a little bit too slow and not really perfect, so we can change that by making the fades a little sharper, the sensitivity a little higher, and maybe the reduction a little less, so bringing the reduction up, and then we've got a sort of sharper fade. My guest on this show is my Again, I'm going to make the fader even faster. Here we go. Let's have a listen. My guest on this show is Mike Murph. And with a little more tweaking, maybe bringing the reduction up a bit. My guest on this show is Mike Murphy. He's an on... And now we've got a sweet fade all done in the essential sound panel uh, with different controls, sensitivity, how much you want to fade by, and how quickly you want to fade that music out. So I'd say this is a much more efficient way of doing music ducking with dialogue, particularly if you're working with tons and tons of dialogue and music clips. Uh, essential sound is your quick and easy way to do that. <laughs>